that. Thank you, Brian. A new month means more arts events to experience in Winston-Salem and Forsyth County. There's something for everyone, whether you are an arts fanatic or you're just dipping your toes in what the city has to offer. To break down some of the highlights for us, I'd like to welcome Joshua Ridley joining us live. He's the Marketing and Communications Manager for the Arts Council of Winston-Salem and Forsyth County. Joshua, great to see you. Hey, Audrey, thanks for having me on again. How are you? Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. So what are some of the events families won't want to miss this month? I know you're highlighting three for us, but there's probably so many more. <laughs> yeah, there's tons of happening in the arts and cultural sector, and the three events that we picked out for you, we're really excited about them. So the first one is Terps Corps Dance. They're coming back to Winston from Asheville, North Carolina, um, and they will be performing Vampire, a gothic tale of love, death, and immortality here at Haynes Brands Theater on Arts Council's campus, July 7th through 9th at 8 p.m. So tonight is opening night. Um, Terps Corps comes to Winston Temple perform Vampire. Um, this is a cutting edge and contemporary ballet unlike other classical works, such as Dracula, based on the novella The Vampire, written in 1819 by John Polidori. This story explores many diverse facets of erotic and romantic love, and because of the content, it is recommended for ages 13 plus. Tickets start at $35, group rates are available. Um, and again, that's gonna be at Haynes Brands Theater here downtown. And for tickets, more information, you can visit intotheart.org. And that's just this weekend. So that's good that you told us about that. And thanks for mentioning the 13 and up as well. What is number two? So Renolda House Museum of American Art is bringing a new exhibit uh, in just over a week here. It is uh, Chrome Dreams and Infinite Reflections American Photorealism Exhibition. That opens July 15th and it will run all the way through December 31st. So we have about six months to check it out. Uh, it is curated by Renolda's curator, Allison Slaby. Crim Dreams highlights the nostalgia associated with America's post-war boom. Renolda has assembled 41 works of art, 28 of which are private collectors in Winston-Salem area that reflect the glittering cityscapes, the shiny storefront windows, and sleek automobiles that are indicative of the period and style of photorealism, American photorealism. And again, that can be viewed at Renolda House Museum of American Art, which is located on Renolda Road. Um, and admission is $18 for general admission, but Renolda does offer free admission programs. So I would really check that out on our website at renolda.org. Some of those photos we were showing looked so cool, really beautiful. That looks fun. And for the whole year, we can check it out. Yeah, we are really excited about it. Great, and lastly, we know it's an event happening next month, but you wanted to put it on everyone's radar? Yes, yeah, so because it starts the first of the month and typically we're not on TV with you guys until after, we wanted to really plug this in to let everyone know that it's back. Thank so you. the National Black Theater Festival is returning to Winston-Salem August 1st through the 6th of 2022, and we are super excited to have them here in our city again. Uh, during six life-impacting days, patrons will experience electrifying performances, informative workshops, riveting films, and insightful spoken word poetry that will open your eyes to the beauty and depth of African-American artistic endeavors. Daily activities throughout the festival include the International Vendors Market at the Benton Convention Center, Celebrity Reception, Midnight Reader Theater, and Late Night Words and Verses. There is so much to do over the six-day course of the National Black Theater Festival. Tickets start at $15. There are free events, so for the full list schedule and information, please visit nbtf.org. And we will, of course, provide coverage on that. Joshua, thank you so much for your time for joining us. Everyone at home, you can find more information about all of the arts events happening this month, in addition to the three he mentioned, by visiting Into the Hearts, Into the Arts, the website on your screen.org.